hey guys welcome back to my channel where we have all things faith life and travel i hope you guys are keeping well so in today's video i'm going to be speaking about my personal battle with depression so if you too are in a season of depression or if you know somebody who is in a season of depression this is just my hope and my prayer that you guys are really encouraged um, and blessed by this video So if we take it back to where this season started for me, I would say it started towards the end of last year. I think hitting 34 was, I think I was okay to start with, but then I think a lot of the realities just started kicking in. Now I'm sort of in my mid thirties, what does that mean? That was also propelled by the fact that I was selling my flat and there was a lot of anxiety and uncertainty around that. I was grieving the loss of my dad. If you guys have seen my fatherlessness on Father's Day video, you will see that I no longer have a relationship with my dad. So there was also some other issues that were happening in my family that meant that I had to put in a lot of boundaries that I'd never had to do before. Even being single, that was another thing that kept coming to the surface. So there was just like a lot of things happening and everything just began to feel uncertain. And I just felt like I just didn't know where my life was headed. Um, so I think in January I realised, okay, this is depression. I was struggling to get out of bed. I was going to bed super early. I wasn't able to get out of bed on some weekends. And I just found myself constantly crying, like just constantly, constantly crying. I would literally go to bed crying. I would wake up crying. And the pain was so excruciating that I almost couldn't comprehend it and put it into words. It was like I just, I couldn't describe how I was feeling. All I knew was that I didn't feel good. I felt very low. To be honest, there was one point where I was going to bed and praying and saying to God, you know, if it is your will, then I pray that I don't wake up in the morning because I cannot bear to live another day like this. And it was really hard because, you know, with COVID, everybody was going through something. There was a lot of tragedy, there was death, people were getting laid off from work. Like there was so much that was happening that I also didn't feel like I had space enough i guess with people to share because people were going through their own things so i was also super mindful of that like how much do i share how much do i talk about can this person handle this so the first thing that i realized was i have to be real about my situation and i need to be real with god so rather than sitting here and hiding and pretending that this wasn't happening and this wasn't real etc i just had to be so open with god and be like you know what god i'm depressed and these are all the things that i'm feeling you need to help me because this is way outside of my control the second thing was just like allowing myself to release everything in prayer i was saying that i can no longer carry this you need to help me with this load and the bible says that jesus will do exactly that so one of the first things that i guess i did was to really look at the root cause of why i felt the way that i did and one of the lies that i believed around that time was that me as a person wasn't worthy to receive the blessings that i was praying for i needed to really find affirmations about myself um, in order to combat a lot of these lies that were coming. So the way that I did that, so the first thing that I did was I downloaded um, an app called this Affirmation app. Throughout the day, I would get different affirmations about myself, things that I could declare and speak over myself. Um, I also uh, signed up and subscribed to a podcast on affirmations. Um, and that really, really helped me because it was like a daily meditation where I would begin to affirm certain things about myself. Um, and then I just got stuck into the word of God, like I got stuck into the scriptures, I really began to discover like, who am I to Christ? Who am I to Jesus? Who does he say that I am? How does he see me? So on a daily basis, I started saying affirmations. I started speaking words of life over myself. And to be honest, to begin with, it was really, really difficult. So hard for me to say things like, I am worthy of love. I am deserving of love affirmations like that it was almost like i couldn't even get the words out of my mouth because i literally just did not 
believe them the second thing that i started doing was exercising my exercising had really fallen off with lockdown and not being able to go to the gym so i made a decision to start doing home workouts i bought lots of equipment i bought dumbbells i bought kettlebells i bought a mat i bought a medicine ball and working out just became something that i could look forward to in the mornings so i changed up my whole routine i started getting up at like 7 7 30 whereas Previously, I'd been staying in bed until right before I needed to log on for work. I also made a decision to be patient with myself. I think sometimes when we're going through these things, we're beating ourselves up and we're like, we shouldn't be feeling like this or this, that or the other. But I just allowed myself to be patient with myself and be like, you know what? You're not on your A game right now, but that's okay. You're going through a process and you're dealing with it and you're facing it head on. So then I got to like March and I remember doing a fast So like me and my best friend we did a fast together and God was speaking to me about so many different things but he began to also speak to me about some of the prayers that I had been praying for the last 10 years but I hadn't yet seen so he really began to to challenge me about those things and also to challenge me about my faith. I think I got to a point where it was like I had no longer believed. I no longer believed that certain things were possible for me anymore. And God really began to challenge me and he began to meet with me and he was like, do you still believe that I am the God that is able to do all of those things for you? Do you still believe that I am the God that is able to bring about these things that you are asking for? And the truth is I hadn't. There were certain things that I was planning for my future and certain moves that I wanted to make. And God basically just came in and was like, you need to give me those plans. But he spoke to me and was like, you know, if you really want to be a disciple, if you, if you really call yourself a disciple and a Christian and a follower of Christ, then you need to carry your cross. And part of carrying that cross is giving me your plans in exchange for the plans that I have for you. There were so many things that I was holding on to. So things from like my childhood and just diff different expectations and wants and needs that I was holding on since like, you know, since the age of like 13 or 14. It was like I was like holding on to them like this and God was like, you know, release them, like give them to me, like let go. So I really began to let go. I really began to surrender and i can't i remember being in church it was like the second week of april and i cannot remember what the sermon was about but i just remember at the end of the service god just really spoke to me and he really began to start breaking a lot of these things off and the more that i was allowing myself to surrender the more that i was giving to him it was like the depression began to to slowly lift off and it's been doing that ever since and we're now in june and to be honest like i would say that i am fully through this season now and um, the depression has lifted by the grace of god and the power of god this depression has lifted off of my life and i think well you know one of the things that my friend said to me she was like it's not even like your external circumstances have changed it's not even like you know you have surety about your life or you know that there are things that aren't uncertain anymore or you know the, the things with my dad haven't necessarily got back you know i still haven't spoken to my dad there's still a lot of turmoil with my mum's family so my external circumstances to be honest like are still the same but there has been a change in me and i think that is so important sometimes we can really pray and ask for god obviously to change our external circumstances but sometimes a change needs to happen internally in order to change your perspective on how you view those things externally if i had have gotten the things that i was praying for if i had have gotten the things that i was so desperate for and i was saying god you must bless me with this in order for me to be happy say god gave that to me and then something happened and I no longer had that blessing. Would I just go back to square one? Would I go back to being depressed again? Because that very thing that I was counting on to get me through is now gone. Whereas when the work is done internally, it doesn't really matter what comes your way because your anchor is the same. Once your anchor is in who God has called you to be and who God has said you are, things can come and go constantly, but that will not change. 
and I would never have experienced that if I hadn't of let go of the things that I was holding on to and so desperately believing for those things to change my life and I guess the last few things that I want to say is like, if you are in this season right now I want to say to you that God is bigger than this and he can deliver you from this and he can help you this season shall pass you're not going to be in this season forever and there is light at the end of the tunnel if you need somebody to pray for you if you have any prayer requests then you can find me if you don't want to leave like a public comment on youtube i could completely understand that if you do want to message me privately um then you can find me on instagram at alex's blog and you can send me a dm um, and i'll be more than happy to pray with you okay guys um i really hope you found this video helpful i hope it was encouraging for you a blessing for you edifying for you if you like this video then as always please give me a thumbs up if you like my content subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video